Hey what's up guys, I'm Kerry from Phoenix and Bow and today I'm going to be talking about this. So this is Coda, this is our summer seasonal limited edition shaving soap that we're going to be releasing on the 31st of July. Uh, it is a soap, as you might have guessed, that's inspired by my love of Led Zeppelin. Coda was their ninth album and final album that they released and uh, the artwork is executed by the other half of Phoenix and Bow, Sarah, uh, my other half, is inspired and taken from an adaptation of uh, the famous uh, piece completed by William Rimmer back in about 1870, which is um, uh, it's called Evening, the Fall of Day. Um, and Icarus, as he is right here, uh, was famously adopted by Led Zeppelin as one of their main um, logos I suppose but the uh, the artwork uh, and Icarus is synonymous with Led Zeppelin. So Coda is um, it's a very rich and strongly scented uh, fougere profile it's a real treat it's very luxurious and I've got the notes here in front of me so the top opens with, very briefly, it adds a crispness uh, to the profile. It's bergamot, um, and then really we kind of dispatch with top notes after that point. It then goes down into uh, the middle aspect of the profile, which is English lavender, geranium, lang lang, and then the base is um, fairly substantial and, uh, and, and a pretty solid base. Um, it comprises of oak moss, benzoin, labdanum, patchouli and vetiver. So if you know your essential oils uh, and your fragrances, that list there, bergamot, lavender, geranium, lang lang, oak moss, benzoin, labdanum, patchouli and vetiver. Wow, that is, that's, that's quite a list. Um, and it, it smells amazing. So I'm gonna have a shave with it and just um, show you how awesome the soap is. So bear with me. Okay, just a quick talk through uh, my equipment that I'm going to use for the shave. Um, I'm going to use my uh, Everready Single Edge Razor. Uh, and the blade is a just a standard gem style blade, two uses in. Um, my brush is my trusty Cadman 30mm synthetic black and gold resin handle with our logo set into the base. I love this brush. It's amazing. Mervyn Cadman is a genius uh, when it comes to making brushes and turning these handles. You can really see the detail. If the camera's picking it up properly, but it's lovely. Really nice brush. Um, and obviously, Coda. So I've had a shower, my skin is hydrated, my pores are cleaned out. And uh, my whiskers, my beard is is prepared. Now at the moment I'm preferring kind of wetter, a wetter lather. It's just my preference. That's what I'm enjoying at the moment. Maybe it's the uh, it's quite hot here in in England at the moment, so maybe it's the what the sun is doing to me. There we are. Okay. Wow. Straight away, I'm getting the geranium which is a scent I really enjoy. This is a really fine smelling soap. It's, for me, it isn't a, a daily soap. It's not a go-to everyday soap. This is a soap for, you know, for a treat. It's a soap for um, the weekend perhaps, or going out to dinner, or um, going somewhere nice with your partner. So we start with the grain. Quite noisy this razor. So the scent was, um, it's been around for a very long time for us, Coda. Since about 2015. 
and we've never really had an opportunity to, to bring it to market. And all of the, um, the thicker aspects of the profile work really well together. So if you like rich scents, thick scents, this is for you, it's definitely for you. It is a limited edition soap. And it'll be available from midday GMT on the 31st of July. After which, once that goes, there'll be a small amount available for our stockists. Really nice hit of the lavender now. So it's funny, isn't it, how how scents move around? You know, our sense of smell. Mine's going to be different to yours. You know, you might not get any lavender. Oh man, there's just there's still so much lather in my face and a lot of residual slickness. You know, I could probably sh I could shave on that, no problem. But I'm going to lather up again for a second pass. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of, uh, of labdanum. Labdanum and oak moss I'll probably do a soap just based on those two scents alone. In fact, I might just do that for myself. But um, yeah, they're, they're there, they're very prominent. Okay, across the grain. Let's see if I can do it over here. Wonderful slipness. Great protection as well. So recently in the last couple of months or so, I've really been focusing on my, um, my technique. I'm really understanding uh, the grain of how my hair grows. I'm trying different things in terms of um, how I'm holding it, you know, how I'm going across the grain. Am I, am, am I going completely perpendicular to the grain or essentially I'm trying to really follow the shape and the contours. And my hair grows really awkwardly, especially under my chin line. It goes down straight here and then it kicks off backwards like that. And the same on the other side. So it's it's quite challenging to follow. What might be cross grain up here would be, you know, against the grain down here and vice versa. So it's, um, it's quite tricky. Lovely, lovely soap. Okay, I'm just going to Get my chin. So I would say that Coda is a soap for anybody who loves th uh, thick and substantial scents. This is quite strong for us. Um, certainly the upper end of medium, for me I would say probably a good seven, strong seven out of 10 in terms of scent strength. Um, it's, it's uh, it's quite prominent out of the jar, which I, I enjoy. You know, I'm not, um, I'm not massively into strong scents, but I, I enjoy it in, in Coda because it is a, it's, um, it's more of a treat really. You know, for me, this soap would come out once a week perhaps. Um, and, and I would kind of treat myself and view it as, as a real kind of luxury shave. As always, I pull out the remnants of the lava from my knot and I treat it as a moisturizer. Get it into the face. Oh wow. And um, it lets you smell the, smell the lather, smell the soap even more. 
I know I look a bit crazy, but hey, your skin will thank you for it. That smells great. I'm getting kicks of the benzene, so that kind of vanilla-y edge. Wonderful. Right, whilst that's just soaking into my face, then I would clean my kit down. Okay, that's all done. Now I'm gonna rinse my face with warm and then freezing cold water. Okay, and that's me, that's my shave. What a fantastic shave. I can still really smell the, um, the soap. And just a point to note for myself, once I've finished shaving and cleaned up, I don't rub my skin, I just kind of pat dry. I think after shave wise for myself, I think what would pair with that really well is Taylor Roll Bond Street Sandalwood. Again, it's got that really nice um, creamy and powdery smell to it. I'm a big fan. So I'm gonna treat myself to a bit of this. What a great shave. Wow, I feel much better. So just a quick recap, um, I've used our summer seasonal shaving soap called Coda, inspired by my uh, massive love of Led Zeppelin. Uh, the artwork is uh, adapted um, and again inspired by William Rimmer's famous piece known as Evening the Fall of Day, which he painted uh, 1869 to 1870. Uh, and it's um, Icarus as he is here is uh, you know, famously associated and synonymous with Led Zeppelin. So it seemed apt uh, that we use it for cola. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe below. And as always, shave right, feel brilliant. Led Zeppelin, man, Led Zeppelin, there is no more music like that around. Led Zeppelin, the most perfect rock band on earth? I think so.